Yeah, that's a bit too bright. Yeah, that looks okay. There. Now it looks like it's an actual piece rather of his armor rather than just a, a drawn on bit. Uh, I'd rather people weren't speaking about my viewers like that. It might be a joke, and if it is, then I'm obviously not in on it, but uh, if it's not, I'd rather people weren't speaking about my viewers like that. Uh, right, now, <coughs> I just removed the line that was this line here, that was blocking that. So what I'm going to do is now go and find the black shape that I had, which is way back here somewhere. I'm going to highlight all this and organize it a bit better actually. No, organization, I can't vouch for it enough, it really does help you keep track of what you've done. Too far. Group that. We've got the them over his eyes, we can group that. There we go, that's the bit I was looking for. <laughs> and so I want that quite thin and I want it pretty faint, but I also want a tint of orange to it. So just bear with me while I sort this colour out. Turn that right up to the max. This bit of orange rides above the dark section there. But I'm going to use a natural colour of the paint as the darker section. Uh, the, the natural colour of the, the vinyls bef behind it, the red. But as I'm putting a, a, a dark bit here, I'm just going to use the red there. So I'm going to put some detail work into the little patches there on his shoulder. And they, they'll help bring his shoulder to life a bit better. So, behind it, uh, the, uh, this edge, it's got um, some black. So I'm going to put that in there, some nice shadow there. Gives it a bit of depth. Then got to create a small little rectangle here. Rectangle-ish. Turn that on its side. And then just, oops, wrong way, extend the length. that and then we're gonna have one coming down at an angle here there so that is a little box I'm gonna fill in uh, I did do art in school mate uh, but that was a long time ago now um, I used to draw as well uh, but I don't do that anymore either I play guitar instead. This is the only place that I do anything arty. I, I take nice photos as well, but that's it. And they usually have cars. I'll be back in like one minute guys, I've just got to disappear for a second. Let's finish this bit here. That's the way it goes. Yeah. Right, I'll be back in uh, just a few minutes guys.
I'd love to see some of your art, mate. That would be good. Gonna put some shading on the end of this just to illustrate the fact that it's not flat. I need to reduce the transparency because I don't want it to look like there's just a black dot on the end. Thanks, man. I'll show you what it looks like when it what one will look like when it's finished, hopefully. Just bear with me while I move this over here. I'm probably only gonna be on for another twenty minutes or so and then I'll be looking at getting heading after that. Uh, I'll put this behind here just so that we've it's not in the way. Carry on with what I was doing. I find the shapes again. Brilliant. So we've got that there. Now these are pretty bright, so there's not actually that much detail that you can see on them. There's the occasional dark spot. So that's what I'm going to try and replicate just now before putting a load of brightness into it. For me, at the moment, it's looking better with every bit of detail I put in. That might sound really big headed, but I have to like my own work. If I don't like it, I won't share it, so. So I'm going to go over with them with a white. And I'm going to go cut that and go and find the shapes that I put there. They're not in that bit. They're in that bit. So that it's over the top of them but not over the top of the dark. That will help this stand out. Without ruining the shading that I put in there. Just trying to see exactly how the white goes over it. Like that. We'll get another one over here. I think I'm actually going to put a touch of yellow in that. Just because uh, the white looks a bit too white. Same with the other one as well. How long have I been making this for? Uh, this one alone and it's about seven hours. Yeah that would be great man. I'll, I'd love to take a look at it. And since I'm over here anyway, and I need to use a similar colour, I'm going to go and do this bit as well. But this is the same as the ones be below, in the fact that I'm going to put in some shading. And then I'm going to put in some highlights. It's far too strong. I just reduced the transparency of that just because it stood out too much. That is giving me the, almost the exact effect I want. Uh, so now I'm just going to make that smaller, change it back to the colour that I want and use it to highlight the top of this. Like that. Or just put one on top for jollies. Uh, 
I need to how much that dot stands out. <laughs> to get rid of that. There we go. We've also got a thin layer at the bottom of shading as well. So I'm gonna I've maxed out the transparency just so I can see it a bit better when I'm placing it. And I'm gonna reduce it now. There, like that. And realise looking at the picture that this red bit here doesn't actually exist properly. It, oh no it does. It's really really light though. I'm gonna go with this actually. <laughs> Do you know what I'm glad of? Some of you may know about, some of you may not. No tables have been flipped over in this week's uh, painting session. Done. Might make sense to some of you, it might make sense to it probably won't, but makes sense to me and I know it makes sense to Fox as well. So uh last week we had somebody in the chat every time he said something it would be followed by flips over table. He then allegedly was gonna come up to my house and flip over tables in my house. That that line there is too bright, just it's too much. It'll be better once I get the outline there fixed. But this will do just now. <laughs> so I hope I've like taught you something this week guys. Hopefully you've picked up some of my techniques or some advice or anything like that. Hopefully I've been useful. That's the point of this is to help you guys out. Save me having to answer 50 million Xbox Live messages over how did you make that? Like, well this is how I make it. Show you guys how I make it, how you guys could make your own stuff too. Now, it doesn't look very good, but that's because the black lines are ruining the context. Uh, so I'm going to go and remove, uh, change the colour of them. Good mind, I'm glad. If I can teach one person something, then that's a good thing. It's <coughs> too dark. Uh, change it a bit brighter red and then move that like that that's better now where are your top ones bear with me a moment guys while I find this right, there we go I want you and you But that's, that's what I'm saying mate, is that you don't have to take on a big massive project like this. Uh, I've been painting since Forza 2, that's why I'm doing something like this now. Uh, but you could do anything, whether whether it's a logo or um, whether you're doing a racing team paint and you want to... Because adding shading like this to a car that you've already got a livery on adds an extra bit of character to your livery. And, and an extra dimension to your livery and and the t tips that I've given you there and 